All right, well, it feels pretty light, carries well, and there's definitely a grab loop in there, so those guys just missed it because I'm using it right now. First lap in the flow. This is a medium. Definitely feels a little more sweet than the NAR. We'll see how it performs. Yeah. Come on. So this wave right now is pretty small at this low flow. So I'm impressed that it's catching it and staying on it without too much effort. So far it feels very Jackson. Good rails, good balance between edgy and forgiving and predictable. Where do you have the seat? Back one, he said it. Sounds like Derek had it middle, and then Pat moved it back. How's the? Has a big fan of seat back. Yeah. He's saying in the yard, he has it all, all the way. How's my trim look? It's definitely a little up. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Yeah. It feels pretty composed, yeah. but but like kind of fast. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. And uh, slicey, surprisingly fast for how short it is. Yeah. Well, it, it's got like a lot less rock rocker. Yeah, I bet there's more boat in the water than my small nar, because the the small nar is only an inch longer. And Jackson does kind of have it nailed for like having a boat that still has edges, but like smears pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously it's not like liquid logic, yeah. but I want edges when I'm paddling. Yeah. I'm not going to sacrifice that just to smear rocks. Uh, yeah, yeah. Unless I'm living in the Southeast or something. Yeah. And the nice thing is like, they, they, they put them up into the side. Yeah. Like They're like tucked off the bottom. about like the gnar kind of like that, like yeah try another one i gotta go a little slower yeah, yeah. Like, like plop exactly it feels probably more planing hull yeah, than mean, the gnar right which reminds me a little of the antics but the stern's not as slicey so it maybe takes a little more work if you think about the sizing of the gnar yeah they really probably could have done the three boats as XL, large, medium, and made a small. Because the small is pretty damn big. Right. I mean, calling the medium and the small a size up might be a little bit of a stretch.
secondary stability test. Pretty good. Definitely got like a tipping point right there, but it's that's way up. Final thoughts on the flow, medium. Some of you may know I've been paddling a NAR for a while now. I had a medium when they first came out, paddled that a few times and then sold it once the small came out and I've been paddling the small for quite a while. The small is spec pretty similar to this medium flow. And to me that felt pretty accurate. This boat felt like a really good size for me. I'm about six foot, 135 and uh, paddled really well. I would say versus the Narvana, it's faster um, than the small because I think it actually has more boat in the water. It's only an inch shorter, but it has less rocker at both ends. And it's also edgier, definitely holds a line a little bit better. There were times where I could tell like it doesn't spin quite as easily. Overall for like most river running and creaking that I do, I think this would probably be a better boat when running like maybe some really hard stuff or certainly if I was like really pushing, doing step up runs, pushing myself, I would probably still prefer the NAR. And I think Pat was probably right that in big water, the NAR um, probably would behave a little bit better. Although it's hard to say, cause sometimes a stern that's a little more slicey like that doesn't get grabbed as much and rails these are a little sharper and longer maybe can be a little bit nicer for holding a line but either way super good boat kind of annoyed that i like it as much as i do so now i have to make a decision about the nar versus this boat i think they're definitely too close to like keep two of both of them in a quiver jackson did a good job with this one i'd recommend that you check it out if you're in the market for a creek boat and shout out to Next Adventure and Mitch for uh, hooking up the demo today. Appreciate you.